yeah, he's Aaron. This is Dave, like always. Like always, and today, on the couch, we have the worst band in Albuquerque that we love so much, A Prophecy Misread. Yeah! Well, they're not there now, then, but they will be there but, later. Yeah, in a little bit. In a little bit. Stay Pretty tuned. Cool. Gil, I'm talking. Hi, welcome back to Rock Talk. Today on the couch, we have Malcolm and Gilby from A Prophecy Misread. <laughs> Say, hey guys. Hi, I'm Malcolm. Hey Hi. So everyone, there's a burning question. What is A Prophecy Misread? Uh, Albuquerque's worst metalcore act. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Piffany or like ten times worse. <laughs> but we're better than the guitarists, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gilby's way better than their their guitarist, Gilby. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like? What's the scene like? Is it? You think it's on the swing? Do you think it's where we're at plateau? Where where, where where are we right? Now? What's the climate? Metalcore. Our style of metalcore is a lot different than the modern style, what it has yeah. become. How about just metal and where you guys fit I feel like metal we've been hardcore. playing with a lot of hardcore bands because I feel like the hardcore scene has been like kind of growing in ABQ. Um, well, I mean, it's just always been there. I feel like we're just kind of somewhere in between. And so, I mean, it's kind of nice because we can play with both genres, you know, and that's really cool. We play with a lot of different bands. Who are your favorite Albuquerque bands? Oh, man. It <laughs> uh, used to be Sputnik. Sputnik was the greatest for me. Now it's moved on to Critters. Dude, let's Critters be honest, distances. Oh, distances. Man. Distances. Oh, yeah. By far, distances is my favorite. Um, I would like music is the enemy if they didn't keep breaking up. <laughs> I don't know, they're bases. Yeah, they're bases. Yeah. Gross. No. <laughs> Gilby, so what's it like to have young blood with the experienced metalcore talent with you, Kyle, and Timmy in the band? It's great. It's a different voice. Uh, we're used to Phil's hardcore style vocals. And Malcolm just brings a whole new level to it. Very cool. He's so insane. That's yeah, awesome. And they always want that like 2005 metal course. So I have to push them a little <laughs> bit more modern. What are your favorite places to play? Places to play change because the yeah, I was gonna say like, the venues have been changing a lot lately, so it's a really tough question. Um, Blue Phoenix has helped us out a lot lately. We've been doing a lot of good shows there, and so that's been really cool. Various houses, houses are the best. Oh yeah, yeah, we've been playing a lot of different houses and stuff, so that's been cool. Fill me in. Around the uni area, the place basically. Place. Yeah. Um, I don't, place yeah, just, used to be called. What did it used to be called? That's where I first saw Against the Odds. I think. No, we played a different. We played the Was Cat House. The Cat House, yeah. that's what it was called. Yeah, no, there's a lot of great house venues there right now. Blaze yeah. Place is cool. Yeah, oh, right. the Blaze Place is Andy's old place. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm confusing it with the Cat House. Yeah, there's like a bunch of places just right in that same area. What's that though? one called? When are we going to talk about the chickens? <laughs> the, the, the chickens? The chickens, yeah. yeah. Th this is Rock Talk. I think it no, might have us confused. No, Bok Talk. Have you not heard of Bok Talk? I, I, I even brought my pamphlet. What, what do you have there? It, it, it just talks about various types of chickens and their breeds. I'd like you to see this. Can you believe this? Is, is something wrong? We have Americana, Bard Rocks, we've got just Rhode Island stop. Red. Stop. Are we not talking about chickens? KFC, true. <laughs> so I have to know. I know Gilby is a very, very big Star Wars fan. Are you as big of a a Star Wars dork about it. <laughs> not not as big. I mean, I like Star Wars, but not not to the level that him and Kyle do. No, is this the force be with you. You guys are working on your EP demo, right? Yeah, correct. correct Excellent. Yeah. So when should when should people be expecting that? Pretty soon. Okay. Pretty soon. Yeah. We got I, everything tracked. All we have is vocals left, okay. and that's that's on me. Where can people find your guys' music? Um, on our uh, YouTube channel, um, just a prophecy misread. You can always go to our Facebook, check us out. We have our all of our Snapchat. music. Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat. NPM <laughs> underscore band. band. <laughs> our SoundCloud and stuff like that. How about any, anything this fall? Anything booked yet? Anything you can uh, confirm? Uh, Chrysalis is yeah. this kind of periphery like. Uh, okay. okay. And okay. we were playing with Beard on that. October 2nd. Excellent. That's a Duke City sound, right? Yeah. I think, I, yes, think, it is. I think yeah. Guys, like, October 2nd, Duke City Sound. Fantastic, guys. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. Very happy to have you guys. Is it true that we get a chicken? Yeah, are we getting a chicken? Done. If we are getting a chicken, I want a Rhode Island bread because they lay like six eggs a week. So that'd be A. Or, or Bard Rock because they have those like bluish green eggs and those are dope. I do love those. Or, no, wait, maybe those are Americanas. I don't remember. Bok Talk!
a flyer Go! for your show. Go! I drew him a flyer for Do you see how he treats me? You've got three seconds to get your back three. on the floor. Two. I love you.